Hi everyone, I just wanted to make this really casual, very short video because I felt like sharing some energy healing tones with you and also to ask you guys for a huge favor. So most of what I offer with Vagrian is for free. Um, as you know from this YouTube channel, I do edit a lot, I do publish a lot, and I do really, really have one of my main focuses bringing you as much content as possible. There are some really fun new videos coming out in the next couple of weeks, so stay tuned for that. But also, um, I've also paired back on my one-on-one -on -one sessions and on my packages for the rest of the year to be able to focus on bringing you more free content. Because of this, I would totally, totally appreciate all of your help to get the word out on the one offering that actually is a paid offering that I have coming up, which is the Colorado event right after the Gaia event on October 20th. So if you appreciate Vagrian's work and if it's touched your life in some way, I would be ever so grateful if you could share that with your friends, your family, your community, and to the wider World Wide Web to let them know about the one day Colorado intensive event with Vagrian. I know that all of you have many contacts in the world of spiritual beings, spiritual seekers, people who are interested in channeling in general. And I know that you reaching out to them personally, whether it be through a post or sharing on your stories or any other way will truly make a difference in the people that that message is meant to arrive to. I do rely very much on energetic transmission of this work and believe that it arrives at the right people at exactly the right time, but it's through you and your sharing that it will arrive at the right people at the right time. So I'm going to put the link to the event in the comment of this video, but also um, I wanted to let you know that in that same link, there are two free offerings that are coming up with Vagrian. One is um, the Heart Coherence Challenge, and I'll be participating in the opening ceremony of that in just a few weeks. And then Gaia has announced that they're going to be offering the Channeling Conference, which includes channelings from Bashar, Theo, Wilhelm, Cryon, and myself. <laughs> Um, on October 19th for free if you're at the live stream. So you can register for both of those in the same link that is going to be on this video. So let your communities know that they can have a taste of Vagrian for free, or if they're in the Boulder, Colorado area, or if they wanna make sure they're in the Boulder, Colorado area on October 20th, that they can have a full day with me in Vagrian. And I would be ever so grateful for that. You would be supporting me. You would be supporting um, feeding my family and <laughs> taking care of my space, etc. And, you know, of course, facilitating future projects with Agrian. So um, all that said, um, I was all set up here to do a bit of energy healing. Um, it is with uh, both specific and collective beings in mind. So if you can relax and tune into it, hopefully the audio is picking up on this. And uh, I will go through and do a full energy healing uh, mini session uh, right now. For you. <sighs> I breathe in and I thank the universe, higher powers, for giving me the ability to aid in the reorganization of anything that it is appropriate for the reorganization of in this now moment. I have gratitude for my ability to be a participating factor in this particular creation and um, basically just take a moment of gratitude here. And before I started recording this video, I did do a general sweep through of the energetic field, clean that up a bit, and um, a scan. So I'm going to go directly to transmission, even though in the pranic sessions I would do on one-on-one, -on -one, there would be a lot of talking and a lot of explaining what I found to be unbalanced. Because this is simultaneously a individual and collective healing, also a personal one, because I will have focus also on my own vessel to clarify, purify, allow releasing of any energies that are not um, no longer needed or in best service. I'm going to just make a very general 
energetic um, go through in this particular session for you guys. And over here to my right, there's a bucket <laughs> with uh, salt water in it. And my experience is that I actually feel like the density, almost like a jello. I mean, it really depends on the energy, um, uh, session to session. But what I feel up here is, ooh, let's say, the density almost of like that kinetic sand. Um, and this would be sort of the general crown chakra. A lot of transmission happens silently. And my role is to hold space and focus uh, more so than anything else. Just allow what is going to come through to come through. I've moved down to the um, third eye. And I don't consider, um, you know, it accurate to call this pranic healing entirely anymore. That's just an idea, a container. But because that has some stricter um, guidelines than what this has evolved into for me, um, I'm not sure if it's going to be called that for very much longer. Actually, both the words, uh, you know, pranic healing as a trademark or as a uh, specific modality and the word healing itself are currently inaccurate the way that I feel about what I do here. I find for most people there's also a lot of energy around the jaw, a lot of holding in the jaw. So it's almost as if there's another energetic center sort of around the mouth area. That's it. pretty much in every session I've ever done. There's been quite a lot of energy around here. Uh, quite a lot of visibility about sinuses. Again, because this is collective, I'm not going to go into any sort of depth. While simultaneously focusing on maybe the individual or individuals that I'm holding in awareness. And then the throat. In pranic healing, the heart uh, chakra is never really charged from the front and back. And there often is a difference between the energies in the front and the back.
Yesterday I had someone describe prayer as not um, a request for what is wanted, but a acknowledgement and a remembrance of the rebalancing of the way that things could be. Um, and so I thought that was really special. And I feel like what I do here is similar to that. So this form of healing or work, um, I, I, would, I would call it more intention or prayer than healing. Um, impending and action, dancing together. sacral let's get rid of all that fear And the root here. Get more connected back to this human experience, grounding in your divine being. Appreciation and gratitude for this human life with all of its nuance, with all of its joy, all of its suffering, all of its challenge and all of its ease.
So at the end of the session, I share gratitude with the Universal Energies, Divine Father and Mother, for allowing me to participate in something of this nature, for giving me the ability to feel these energies, to have the ability to transmit them, basically for everything. <laughs> That is me, um, that is uh, the collective, that is uh, life itself. I wish to you or the participant, uh, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you be free. And then an important part of energetic work with the collective and with oneself and with uh, individuals is to make sure that you are taking care of yourself and setting the correct boundaries. I do this with a cutting sort of um, ceremony or just, you know, quick uh, intention for cord cutting between myself and any cords that have been created by this collaboration. And so I imagine a knife um, and I cut the cords to my sacral, to my spleen and to my solar plexus, never to my heart. Um, I'm hoping that this served in some way. I would love to know in the comments uh, what you felt about this and what you think about these more sort of casual, spontaneous um, videos that I might come up with every once in a while. This is my um, bedroom. <laughs> and um, I'd also love, 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 love if you would share the details of the upcoming uh, Colorado event, um, which is October the 20th. It's in Colorado, in Boulder. It's in this beautiful venue. It's going to be very intimate. There's a total of 36 participants, I believe. And uh, I'd love to see you there. I'd love to see you there. But if you can't make it, if you can't make it in person to the Colorado event, then please consider watching the live stream of the Gaia event, which is on October the 19th, and or joining the Heart Coherence Challenge, which I am participating in the opening ceremony but which includes 30 days of amazing meditations from all of your favorite spiritual, um, what would you call them? Spiritual service personnel, <laughs> spiritual collaborators. Um, so you're going to really enjoy that. I know though that there's a great lineup for that. And all of those initiatives, including my Bowler, my Bowlerado, my Colorado event in Boulder are available at www.jpherman.com forward slash events. Go ahead and register for, the free ones, go ahead and make the commitment to come to the full day event with me, which is going to be tons of fun and really enlightening. And um, if you can't make it to anyone, then go ahead and share the details about Vagreen with anybody and everybody you know. Really, my only mission in life is to spread this information, to spread these teachings or this um, remembering to the collective. And so you doing that is really um, all I need from you. <laughs> and all I would ask as uh, my most um, pressing favor uh, to you in this now moment. If you're not subscribed to this channel already, subscribing to this channel also really helps me out. And uh, do comment because I love to interact with you guys personally. So have an amazing, amazing day. I'm now rushing off. Um, I have to be somewhere. So Mwah, love to you guys and um, all the best.